Welcome to Office 365. Office 365 offers all of the collaboration tools that a teacher and student could want in one convenient, centralized location. Not only does it include a complete email and calendaring system, but it also allows students and teachers to keep track of the people they are interested in and interact with them and others through instant messaging and a series of other social networking tools. Office 365 also offers a location to store files and folders in the cloud, accessible anywhere, anytime, from any device. It empowers users to create rich documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and notebooks leveraging the web versions of the popular Office productivity tools Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. Office 365 also leverages SharePoint technology that provisions blogs for teachers and students, and also allows these users to create rich collaboration sites where they can synchronously collaborate in a secure web environment. The following presentation will walk through the various sections of the Office 365 environment and look at the possible educational scenarios for Peel teachers and their students. To begin, let's look at the email component, called Outlook. This is Jane Doe. Jane is a grade 7 teacher from Allen Drive Middle School. She has elected to leverage the Office 365 environment in order to collaborate with her class. Because Jane is using Office 365, an email account separate from her corporate email has been provisioned in the Office 365 cloud. Here, Jane can interact with the other teachers and students who are using Office 365 throughout the board. Let's take a moment to talk about presence. Office 365 includes a powerful presence engine that allows other users to see when you are online and available to collaborate. Notice that Jane's current status is green or available. Jane has the ability to change her status by clicking the drop down arrow and select a separate status, for example, busy from the displayed menu. Students and teachers who may be trying to synchronously collaborate with Jane will see that her status has now changed to busy and they will not be able to do things like instant message her. Notice that Jane's current status is shown in several locations on the screen. When Jane is ready to collaborate, she can mark herself as available again. As well as presenting your current availability, Outlook enables users to send and receive email messages to other teachers and students who are leveraging the Office 365 environment. Outlook is also used to deliver system messages that keep teachers and students apprised of changes that affect them. For example, if one of Jane's students shares a document with her, an email is sent to Jane notifying her that the student has shared the document. Next, let's have a look at Jane's calendar. From within the calendar, Jane can manage all of her events, both personal and those that pertain to her classes and students, in one easy-to-use interface. Jane can add new events by clicking the New Events link or by clicking the date on the calendar and entering her information. She can see a day, work week, weekly, or monthly view of her events. If she wants, Jane can share her calendar with others using the Share button, or she can have her students share their calendar with her so she knows what they are doing throughout the year. Now, let's look at the People page. The People page allows Jane to add personal contacts. As a teacher, she can add each of the students in her class and even teachers throughout the board that she interacts with most often. Notice that the real-time status of each of her contacts is displayed in the People view. From here, Jane can send an email, instant message, or schedule an appointment with her contacts. Next, let's look at the News Feed page. The News Feed page is the heart of the Office 365 environment. It allows Jane to see a real-time view of activities as they occur. The News Feed page incorporates similar functionality found in other social networking tools such as Facebook and Twitter. Let's have a look at some of the features of the News Feed page. First, like Facebook and Twitter, Jane can add a status message. Notice that she also has the ability to add a link or a picture to her status. When Jane changes her status, all of the individuals who follow Jane will get an update on their News Feed page. Jane can also mention a user using the at sign or use a hashtag in her status updates. 
Users who Jane mentions with the at sign are notified in the Mentions section, and individuals can follow trending tags by following them. Jane can completely control the information presented in her newsfeed by selecting the users from whom she wishes to receive updates. She can select and remove these users by clicking the Follow People link. From this page, she can see the number of people she follows, their status updates, and the number of people who follow her. Jane can add new users, for example, new students to her class, by clicking the Follow link. She can also see more information about a specific user by clicking the Show More button. In addition to people, Jane can also follow documents. When Jane views a document stored in the Office 365 environment, she has the ability to follow it. Once a document has been followed, Jane is notified of changes in her newsfeed. She can gain quick access to the document she follows by clicking the Follow Documents link. Jane can unfollow documents she currently follows or choose to follow a suggested document by clicking the star next to the document. Jane's newsfeed also keeps her up to date on the sites that she follows. Like documents, when Jane is viewing a site within the Office 365 environment, she can choose to follow it. Jane has chosen to follow one of her students' blogs. Each time that blog is updated, Jane is notified in her newsfeed. If she wants quick access to one of the sites she's following, she can click on the Sites button and click the corresponding link to view the site. The newsfeed page also gives Jane quick access to her blog. Here, Jane can post information for students and other teachers in Peel. This robust blog tool allows Jane to incorporate videos, documents, links, pictures, and rich text elements into her posts. Lastly, Jane can use the search box at the top of the newsfeed page if she is looking for a person, document, site, or article within the Office 365 environment. Now, let's look at Jane's SkyDrive. This is SkyDrive. SkyDrive is Jane's personal area to create, store, and share files in the cloud. One of the overwhelming differentiators between Office 365 and other cloud collaboration tools is the ability to create or edit Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote files directly from her SkyDrive without the Microsoft Office Suite installed on her device. If Jane wants to view or edit one of her existing documents, she simply clicks the link for the file. If, however, she wants to create a new document, she clicks on the New Document button and chooses one of the document types from the displayed list. Notice that Jane can also create subfolders within her SkyDrive in which to store files, or she can upload existing files as well. For this example, Jane is going to create a new Word document. Jane gives the new Word document a name, and she is taken into the Microsoft Word web application. Here, she can compose her document, apply formatting elements such as font sizes, colors, or bulleted lists, and also insert and format images using the Quick Styles toolbar. Once her document is complete, she clicks Save, and she is returned to her SkyDrive where the new file resides. Jane also has the ability to share files that reside in her SkyDrive with others. In fact, Jane can not only share files with others, but she can synchronously collaborate with students in her class using the Office web apps. Let's look at an example. This time, Jane creates an Excel spreadsheet called Average Rainfall. She adds the months of the year across the top of the spreadsheet and some geographic locations down the side. She then selects the cells and inserts a 2D column chart to display the results. Now that the file is set up, she closes Excel and returns back to her SkyDrive. Next, Jane wants to share the spreadsheet with two of her students. She clicks the lock icon, which indicates that the file is currently not shared, clicks Invite People from the displayed menu, types the names of the two students in the top field, and a personalized message in the message field, and clicks Share. The two students Jane has invited to share the document receive an email letting them know that the document has now been shared. They can now launch the document and synchronously collaborate with Jane. Jane reopens the document and can see that the two students are editing the document. Jane can then instruct her students to fill in the spreadsheet and all three contributors can watch 
as the graph dynamically builds. Lastly, let's look at the Sites tool. The Office 365 environment includes a powerful SharePoint engine that allows users to create their own collaboration sites. To create a new site, Jane would click the New Site button. However, as a teacher, Jane can use the pre-configured Home Form site in order to collaborate with the students in her class. From this site, Jane can leverage a number of collaboration tools. She can add text, pictures, videos, and links to the site's homepage, post assignments for her class and sort them by subject, insert calendar entries that pertain to her class, leverage the class wiki to engage her students, or use the class discussion board to get feedback from her students. Jane has the option of using the pre-configured class site or adding and removing elements as she sees fit. All in all, the Office 365 tool is a powerful and useful tool for any teacher who is interested in leveraging 21st century learning.